New York City's public housing tenants finally got some good news Thursday afternoon. This coming winter will be better. Mayor Bill de Blasio speaking for the city's biggest landlord, NYCHA, the New York City Housing Authority, put in the hard work to do a better job providing heat this coming winter. 50 new heating technicians, better customer service and robocalls, and five new mobile boilers. So guess how residents at the Wrangell houses in Harlem reacted when they saw these no heat and no hot water notices plastered all over their building doors and felt that all too familiar chill on a chilly Thursday night. At your last check, you had no heat or hot water. No, no, and it's cold and I got grandkids. We don't know what Mother Nature's going to throw us. But we do know that the team at NYCHA has put some real improvements in place. As the mayor was speaking, problems were already popping up in NYCHA buildings across the city. By 5.45 p.m., more than 4,700 NYCHA tenants were without heat. Judith Goldner of the Legal Aid Society, which sued the agency over last year's no heat debacle, says in a statement, quote, It is disappointing but not surprising that on the first frigid day of the year, 4,000 NYCHA tenants are suffering unplanned heat and hot water outages. This is a breach of law, and every time the city fails to provide these mandatory utilities, there needs to be some consequences. You got to at least show us that you care. I mean, all the money that's getting spent in NYCHA, there's nothing happening. There's no heat in the apartments. Sometimes we don't have no water.